Hey screen printers, it's Ryan from Ryanet, and in this instructional video, we're going to walk through the setup of the Epson 4900 Black Max system using Accurip. Now it's very important to understand that you do need to set the system in a very specific way. You receive this paperwork via email and with your shipment of the inks and the printer. We're going to walk through basically the step by step in this video to help you better understand it. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or get on our help desk. Step number one is installing the printer with the Epson OEM ink. This initializes the printer with the ink before you can actually then put the Black Max ink in it. So you do need to want to use the Epson OEM starter cartridges that came with your printer. Once the starter inks are installed and the ink has been loaded into your printer, you can now set up Accurip. We go to File and Setup and we change our printer to the Epson 4900. We're going to be using this without all black mode to begin with because we only have the photo ink in it. We hit OK. Accurip automatically installs the print driver and we can do a test print. To do a test print, we go to File, and then Half Tone or Drop the Weight Test Print. If everything is set up correctly, your printer should read Printing and print the test paper. You can do this on film, but you can use paper just as easily. Doing a test print is a great way to ensure your printer is properly set up. Now, once we've ensured that our printer is properly set up with the Epson OEM inks, we can now move to installing the Black Max inks. Now it's time to take out the Epson cartridges and put in the Black Max cartridges. Very important that you do not use a chip resetter during this process and you do not get this chip, this gold chip, dirty. If you do, clean it with a Q-tip and alcohol or a non-linted rag. So to install this, be very careful and install this into the printer bay. Press it all the way in so it reads. And once all the print cartridges are installed, put your cover back on. Next, run a power clean to get all of the color ink out of the lines. To do this, use the manage process by going into the ink button right here and then going down to manual clean, hitting OK, and then selecting all colors. And we want to use the powerful all colors. Once this is selected, simply hit yes and it will clean the print heads. To properly use Black Max inks, you need to set up accurate. Go to file and then set up. You already have your 4900 selected, but now you need to select multi-black mode. That will pull from all the cartridges, but in black ink. This gives you a default print resolution and droplet weight. I recommend keeping it on this. If you do need to adjust this in the future, you can always go up to file and then droplet weight test. We do have another video on doing a droplet weight test out of Accurip. Okay, once your ink is reinitialized and your printer says ready, you're now ready to use the Black Max system. Now, if you have any questions, check out our help desk or the manufacturer's software for ScreenPrinters.com's help desk and submit a help ticket. Thanks a lot for watching and enjoy your Black Max system.